going to present you a, a work. A, it's not so much a work we've been doing, it's more ideas we're having for future work. Uh, so you won't see any results uh, or anything about that. So uh, it all started with the experience we've had working on uh, a tra the trailer project. A uh, trailer project uh, is about uh, validation, a project to provide a framework concerned uh, of validating in formal learning uh, and providing uh, ultimately a portfolio for informal learning activities. Uh, so the name of the trailer comes from title recognition and acknowledgement of informal learning experiences. Uh, the idea was to create a portfolio and uh, during the lifetime of the project uh, we uh, got to test it uh, with uh, users from learning institutions and companies. Uh, a very brief overview of uh, our part in the trailer was to build the uh, collect the informal learning collector which was uh, the object that used to uh, gather the uh, informal learning activities, create a list and from the list you could um, characterize the informal learning uh, activities by adding uh, some tags, uh, some comments and uh, possible content. Okay. This is not very interesting. So, I'm going to focus on the negative comments we received uh, for trailer. There were obviously a lot of uh, positive ones, thank God. But uh, I'm going to focus on some of the negative. So uh, what we saw, uh, especially for uh, the learning from the users from learning institutions, uh, we were not very motivated uh, to introduce their informal learning activities because it's kind of a pretty tedious process, you have to go and uh, we had uh, mechanisms for uh, automatically uh, sending the process, uh, the activities, or at least some kinds of activities to, to the platform, but then you would have to go uh, and um, define a little better each one of them and send them to the portfolio. So uh, there was evidence that there was some lack of motivation after doing one two, the novelty was fading, so motivation was not uh, there. Uh, also, in, in some cases, uh, well, especially when defining the certain comp competence uh, that uh, the activity um, would uh, would refer to, um, the the competence list we were using was uh, one of uh, the formally proposed ones by the European Union, which was way too big and way too specific, with uh, competencies having a title of six or seven words in some cases, uh, and it was held to browse through there and find the adequate competence. Uh, also, uh, all this led to um, having to dedicate some time to characterize uh, its activity. Uh, and if you had a list of 10 or 20 pending activities uh, to characterize, that would start taking uh, more than half an hour or one hour just to characterize the activities and send them to the portfolio. Uh, and also, uh, well, mm, the user interface we were able to provide in the lifetime of uh, the project was obviously not the best one. Uh, so um, we got a lot of negative comments uh, on, on the user interface that uh, users had to go through two different uh, software uh, pieces. Uh, first the collector and then the portfolio uh, to do what they had, what was asked of them. So it was time confusing and also um, the, the relationship between the two uh, objects was um, also confusing. Uh, so um, these are the negative uh, experiences uh, we, we can take out of this project. Uh, and uh, reflecting on this, Mm, we uh, mm, we could uh, we identify some challenges uh, for the validation of uh, uh, informal learning. Uh, so in general, mm -hmm. when you when you want to validate when you're trying to validate uh, your informal learning activities, mm, you will, mm, the problems that you face are the long. Uh, extremely long competence lists that are um, 
unusual actually. Uh, then, um, normally, uh, the way uh, the validation is proposed uh, in the literature, you actually need someone to do the evaluation for you. Um, so you need to have some person evaluating. Uh, then, um, that evaluator um, has, uh, needs to have some experience so that he can adequately identify uh, and evaluate these uh, activities, these uh, competencies. And you would, uh, since you would need more than one evaluator, uh, the experience level of these people uh, would, uh, uh, could vary, leading uh, to um, a lot of subjective uh, comments. Mm. Also, the problem is that uh, you can all, uh, as with any evaluation process, uh, there is the role of external stakeholders who may be interested in some certain competences more than others, so that they could exert pressure in one way or the other. Uh, the heterogeneity of informal learning is also a factor that could uh, complicate uh, things uh, for the evaluators. Uh, because there is a, a way to get to the same competencies through various, uh, various ways. Uh, and the, the same is with internet-based activities, more or less these two points uh, coincide, that makes things complicated to actually characterize. And uh, also, then you have, in a national or international level, a lot of differences in the way uh, the institutions, the companies, the governments uh, consider uh, validation. So what we want to propose and what we're thinking of uh, is to provide a, a social approach to, to the framework. Uh, this will work based on a peer collaboration and recommendation. So it's the same users uh, that uh, will help evaluate and validate the activities of their peers. Uh, so the idea is that a learner has his informal learning portfolio and uh, can choose to make their activities, all of them or some of them, public uh, to, to their peers. Uh, the peers can view, they can rate, and they can comment, and comment on, on the, uh, the other activities, on the public ones. Uh, and on top of that, on top of uh, the manual uh, recommendations, uh, we would, uh, and based on the results of that, we would like to build an automatic uh, system that will be able to um, recommend to a user a certain activity based on his uh, informal learning profile. So what we expect to gain from that uh, is uh, First is motivation, so by being able to view what your peers, what your friends, uh, your colleagues uh, are, uh, are doing, uh, you, you, you will obviously get uh, motivated to um, do more uh, or do something more efficiently than you were doing. Uh, evaluating oneself by being able to access the ratings and the reviews uh, your series from from the peers. Uh, collaboration, since you can uh, do, since you can see what your colleagues are doing, uh, you, co you could potentially coordinate with a certain group saying, okay, I will look into these resources, we look into those, and then we can exchange ex experiences that will lead to a better, faster uh, learning, uh, process, learning process. Uh, the recommendation mechanism will be a very good, we hope, would be a very good mechanism for someone to discover more resources, more informal learning activities for their learning. And uh, also the transparency, because um, one would not just declare that I have gained this competence through informal learning. You, you, you could also, as an evaluator, for example, you could also see how, which activities actually led to this competence. Uh, but uh, to end, uh, to, we have also identified um, a certain number of risks to, to this process that we will have to take uh, into consideration when we are designing our framework. Uh, so, for example, for private uh, for companies, uh, this 
this could potentially become a control tool for the employees because you, you will have uh, access, well, the employers will have access to the activities of the employees, uh, so they could use that to exert pressure or to control what they are actually doing. Uh, so maybe if someone gets a bad review because he likes to go fishing on his spare time, um, and the, 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 the boss doesn't like that, right? Uh, so uh, also, um, this cannot uh, be uh, turned. This should not be turned into a strict evaluation platform. So the, the, the evaluation should not uh, be based on your informal learning. Informal learning is something extra you do and an added bonus to your learning. It's not something uh, obligatory, which is the same point, uh, which leads to this point here. Right? Uh, also, being a social platform, as everything social, uh, you um, you will need some moderation because you will have the inevitable troll uh, or what have you. Uh, so you need to provide some protection mechanism and see if someone uh, is. Um, Putting unnecessary negative comments or unnecessary positive comments should be moderation too. Uh, the same with the interaction control. That means that um, you have to uh, we would have to think of what kind of interactions we allow users to have, uh, because actually this is to be this is meant to be a repository of uh, or a portfolio of informal learning. You don't need to turn it into. Facebook style when you can post anything or uh, array everything. Uh, and uh, also the, the one of the most important most complicated things to do um, from our experience is to actually uh, present a competence list that is adequate, it's not overly long and it's well and it is well defined and also think to, to think if you will let users Mm, define their own competencies or just use a set of predefined ones.